video we are going to cover the one command that is the user mod like as the name suggests it is the user modification command like with the help of this command you can modify the user details like their user id you can modify their username you can modify or if you want to add those users into that particular group then you can also do it in this particular video so basically we mainly we will focus like adding users into groups in this particular video in our next video we will try to cover the like uh, extra things or whatever is the like user locking changing uh, uid changing their uh, what you can say uh, their group name all these things we will cover in our next video so here is the scenario for you guys like uh, there is a some kind of company and here you can see different teams are there like developer tester marketing team okay these are some kind of teams in that particular company and we have a uh, different users like d1 d2 t1 t2 m1 m2 so basically suppose this this is our uh, some kind of linux server and in which we want to create different groups so there will be separate groups for developer separate groups for tester and similarly for marketing team there will be a separate group and these are the users so now what we will do we will try to first of all create all these user uh, all these groups then we will create the users and then we will add these users into that groups using user mod command okay so now first what we will check if we have uh, that uh, group present or not uh, i have sorry okay so here you can see uh, there is no any other groups present like developers uh, marketing team and all other groups okay so now what we can do we can try to add those groups so how we can do it you can do it easily by using group add command and i will try to uh, give the uid that is 2001 and the name of the group that will be developers okay so it is showing permission denied why because we have not added sudo here because it runs only uh, if you have a permission like uh, that user should be adding that sudoers file so now i will need to enter my password and again let's check if this group is added or not so here you can see developers group has been added okay and 2001 is the gid and we have not still added any kind of user into this group okay so now let's uh, <coughs> create uh, other groups mm -hmm. Testers, I will try to give you where it is uh, 2002 again permission denied okay added and now marketing team okay 2002 already exist change the UID to 3 okay so now what we can do we can check if all the groups has been created or not so here you can see developers tester marketing team has been created now what we have to do we have to create all these users like d1 d2 t1 t2 m1 m2 okay but before creating group there is a one concept of uh, primary and secondary group in our this linux system so you will need to understand it first like basically what is primary group in primary group what happens when you create a one user or any new user so simultaneously a uh, one group is also created with them like suppose i have created test okay a test user then test group will be also created okay so that is a primary group and what is a secondary group secondary group is nothing but uh, like uh, one user uh, like uh, will present in other groups also suppose this is a d1 user and uh, he has a primary group of d1 and but he is also present in developer so developer is his what secondary group okay I have you got it the concept of this okay so now what we can do I will add users so for users also we use sudo command and we will use add user command not user add mm. name it as a d1 uh, matching the regular expression okay so I think we cannot write a numerical uh, dev one okay sudo add user day one is now matching 
okay let me check okay add user hito that is sudo again i will try to create user oh sorry add user developer 1 okay so here you can see like developer one has been uh, like uh, username has been created now it is asking me to enter the password of that particular user so i will enter some kind like uh, anything which i want and full name mm, i don't want to give and whether this information correct or not yes it is correct so this uh, uh, user has been created like to verify whether user has been created or not what you can do like as we have earlier learned like when whenever we create a user then the information is get stored or get added into the password the file that is pass wd okay so we will check the content of that file <coughs> sorry so here you can see our uh, developer one has been created with the uid this and 1001 gid what is gid that is a group id and this is uh, his primary group okay so if you will check with the id command of that particular user dev uh, developer one so here you can see their gid is 1001 and their primary group is developer one okay and groups in which groups uh, this user is present so basically it is present in only one group that is a developer one because we have not added this user into that developers group So now what I will do again I will create another user um, developer two. Okay, let's enter password. I don't want to provide. Yes, done. Again, now I will create for tester tester one. Same. Sorry. why okay tester has been added now tester 2 no full name nothing required yes okay we have already covered this user creation you can watch our uh, previous video okay so uh, these two users has been added let's again check the content of that uh, password file so here you can see developer 1 developer 2 tester 1 tester 2 has been added again last one is remaining that is which one marketing team okay so uh, where that last command which we have done okay i will just write empty one password okay nothing is required yes again empty 2 password uh enter anything which you want nothing required nothing and then yes okay so successfully we have created all these three users and the groups okay so as per this scenario like developer has uh, developer 1 developer 2 tester 1 tester 2 marketing team 1 and marketing team 2 okay so now we will check whether all these things has been created or not for your like uh, clarification cat slash ctc so here you can see all the six users has been created so now the main thing uh, the main topic of our this video is user mod like user modification so now let's check the uh, first of all check the like group of developer uh, not developer let's check for tester 1 So here you can see GID is this and group is this. He is added only in this group particular. And now let's check the uh, like whatever the groups we have present. So here you can see uh, here one developers, testers, marketing team, and 
also you can see developer one developer two this 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 and why why this is happening because these are the primary groups for that particular user like when you have created that developer one user then simultaneously another group has been also created okay that's why this is a primary group now what we will do we will add this developer one user into this developers group and then we will check that uh, like check with the id command like uh, um, what are the other groups in which that particular user is present okay so now the role of user mod begins so let's start with this so basically uh, user mod we will use uh, it uh, like this like user mod and then we will provide the name of the group in which we want and hyphen a option hyphen a is nothing for the append option okay i hope you are aware of append like appending something like uh, uh, suppose there is a some kind of container and you are just appending into something things in it okay you can think of it like that and uh, we will use hyphen g option for the groups and the group name so what we want to that is the developers i think this is the same name if i am correct let me check it okay leave i am correct i know uh developer one permission denied again because we have not used sudo here and now let's check the groups of this particular user developer one so here you can see like uh, gid is 1001 and the groups which in which groups this particular user is present so here you can see developer one this is his primary group and developers is his secondary group okay so again let's add other users also like uh, developer I will add this user into this developers uh, what you can say developers group added simultaneously we will add uh, uh, users in testers group uh, tester1 I have written wrong name tester one okay added again for tester two added similarly for marketing team uh, let me check the name of that uh, particular group uh, um, marketing team okay and here you can see like in developers we have you can see like developer 1 has been added and developer 2 has been added similarly in testers we have tester 1 and tester 2 okay so now what we will do we will add users into the marketing team let me clear the screen and marketing team and a uh, username was mt1 i think mt1 okay added and similarly empty empty to it was i think uh, let me check the name of that particular user okay this is m2 okay added so now again we will check So now here you can see the developers group like what are the users present that is developer 1 and developer 2 in similarly in tester group we have uh, tester 1 and tester 2 and uh, in our this uh, what you can see in the marketing we have uh, M, M1 and M2 okay so uh, this is the like um, thing which you should learn about like user modification like this is uh, like what you can say important thing because uh, when you will go in the corporate then maybe as a system engineer or whatever like a linux administrator then at that time you will get to know about this these things okay 
so uh, that's all for this video and uh, for user modification command like uh, there will be another video for further details like how you can add the command add a uid and uh, you can change the like old username to the new username so let me show you this command like uh, how you can change it i have to change this m2 to m like marketing team 2 okay this is the user m2 and i have to change his username to marketing team 2 so how how i can do it I will just use user mod and then I will use the option hyphen L and the old username is M2 and the new username what I want is marketing team 2. Okay, user mod what is it showing? User marketing team 2 does not exist. Why it not exist? I'm just okay. Maybe the new name will come up here. Permission is denied. Pseudo. Okay. Again, let's check the group name. If it is changed. So, okay. Here you can see marketing 2. Like M from M2 to marketing 2. The name of the username has been changed. And also you can verify it from this uh, our password file. Here you can see it is marketing Two. okay so that's all for this video and in our next video we will cover up the other options of user mod command okay so thank you thank you for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you